They did it. I can't believe they did it. How could they do such a thing? Why did they? They just had to get their hands on them. Almost every single one. Especially the ones that I cherish the most. Damn you! Hello, and welcome to Boots to Reboots, the web series that'll take a look back at all the remakes that have been made over the past decade. Were they good? Were they needed? Did they approve upon the original film in any way? For the most part, Fuck no. But in the giant steaming shit pile that consists of these remakes, exists every so often one gem that isn't so bad. I could even argue that a few are pretty good, and I may like them even more than the original. <laughs> so before I get into... Huh? Where'd you go? What? Oh, okay. So before I get into all of that, I feel it's important to understand why I'm doing this. All of my life, I have been in love with the cinema. My favorite, and I guess you could say my last job, was working for the local cinema here in town. That was until my outburst. You see, I suffer from schizophrenia from time to time, and well, that particular day, it was pretty bad. It sure was scary, Andy. They got what they deserved. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, it gets... it gets weird sometimes. Anyway, one day I had an outburst, and I attacked some audience members. I don't like people who talk during the movies, okay? It annoys me. So anyway, and this guy throws his hot nacho cheese in my face. And the hot nacho cheese burned me a little. Burned me pretty bad. That's why I wear these fucking bandages. Oh, it's pretty ugly under here. It sucks. But that's what happens. When you have schizophrenia. And you have to take a lot of medication. Ugh. I was arrested and sent to psych psychiatric hospital. It's been over 10 years, but I'm finally out. <laughs> I said I wasn't ready. They should have kept us locked away. Freedom is on. <laughs> but they had to let me go. Something about some law only being able to keep me for a certain amount of time. But the plus side is that I get to go back and watch all my old favorite movies again. And also, I get to go back and watch all the great movies that came out over the last decade while I was in the hospital. All the cinematic achievements and great stories and characters that I've missed out. Uh, and then... And then over the past year since I've been out, I've been horrified at what has happened. 
Instead of finding new classics to cherish, I discovered remake after remake of all the films that I love. For about a week, Andy sat in shock. I mentioned this to my therapist, and he suggested that I find a way to vent my rage and my feelings. Thus, this web series, it's going to be kind of like my own little therapeutic journal to get my feelings out. I'm going to talk about some of these god-awful remakes and did they really need to happen? Some are good, but for the most part they, uh, they make me want to drill a hole into my brain. And they piss me off. So, come if you hate remakes as much as I do, or if you like some of them, come and follow me down this dark and creepy, I feel molested hole. Molested hole? Anyway, welcome to Boots. Hurry, Boots! Uh.